you been doing this? Uh, just over a year. Okay. You're in it. I'm in it. Yeah. I'm in it for the long haul. My Uber driver yesterday, uh, we were talking about, he quit his job at GM and is now like making cabinets and stuff. And he's a year in and he was like, I'm still scared month to month. And I was like, this is. Yeah. Luckily, I mean, I haven't made a dime off any of this really. Yeah. I mean, I've made it like couple of, like on my live streams that they've it's become a thing to donate six dollars and 66 cents oh that's so like sick. they all donated money for me to play Baldur's gate which is this dungeons and dragons game just to watch yeah so they could watch and like you know that's yeah. like sort of interactive so they all were like interacting with it yeah the, the mystic order of the tube they call themselves okay uh, there's a whole weird thing i got a those whole, are your guys yeah it's the people that follow okay. me yeah friends some people yeah. i just met online but yeah. they like they're pretty they're pretty deep into it this one guy he's like created a whole lore he created really? sayings like it's pretty tight we're talking about going to comic-con together oh hell yeah i went uh, and last we were year. all gonna dress up like they were we all they we picked out official druid like hooded clergymen type yeah units with the the rope belt hell pick yeah those out so that they could all match yeah and then like so i did this thing where i went to world of wheels car show last year i okay. do like this all started out with cars and then it went into like talking to people about cars and it started out like on a loading dock with a guy then i was going to people's shops then i was like okay how do i control this better and it's like okay well i got to build the studio yeah so i was doing it in the i had a one you were recording yeah then okay and, uh, still doing doing the same thing i'm doing yeah. now but it was like different i was behind the camera yeah everything was different yeah and then over time, I got this, I got lapel mics, and then okay. that made it sound better. And then I got like this camera, and yeah. then I moved over here, and I was like, "Fuck, I need microphone, yeah. microphones. Like yeah. I got to do real deal audio to yeah. like up." That was the next way to up the production value. But I, uh, so it started off just talking about cars and shit, and then I've been like building some cars and stuff. But now it's just sort of grown into like. I'm just sort of interested in talking yeah. to whoever, really. Yeah. So, like, it could be, like, you one day, next day it might be, you know. Whoever. Whoever. Yeah. Like, there could be, like, some dude that built a car. Then yeah. there's, like, a tattoo artist. Have you artist. always been a car guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's my main steez is okay. cars. Like, that's what I do for a living. Okay, that's, I didn't know that. Yeah, I I work at a hot rod shop, so I build custom cars for a living. Hell yeah! But I'm, I do like custom. Like I painted this chair. Like this, I made okay. this chair. What? Like I, it was a plastic chair already, but I like did all of this to it, like the oh fur and everything. You painted that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that like car paint? Yeah, yeah. It's it's, sick. It is car paint, but that's like my main deal. So that's where it like it started off with like building. You know, building my van and then my, I'm redoing my buddy's bike and I've been doing that for like a year and then. OK, I'm going to hit you up growing. because my car is freaking me out and I have a moped that I don't know what to do with. Oh, shit. Mopeds. Yeah. My sister is actually her and her uh, old, whatever he is, baby daddy. Yeah. Number four. <laughs> he's uh, he, they're moped people like they live it. Hard. Yeah. Like they they have a gang called. the What? What is the name of it? The Muff. I'm already muff in. peddlers. I'm, oh yeah, that's the name of my <laughs> sister's moped gang. Is the muff dude? Peddlers. I want to join. She, I'm fuck. I'll, I could set that up. Yeah, they hang out. There's like the Spicy Boys, which is a group here in town. Okay. There's all these like moped gangs. Oh it's real my weird. god. See, mine's like kind of chuggy and like embarrassed. Well, it's it's my mom's, <clears throat> right. but in eighth grade, she was like, okay, you could only ride it to High V. So I would do that every single day. Get a snow cone. It was my thing, and then in like. I was like, just let me have it. Um, and she hasn't. But she lives like in the suburbs and I live in the city and it's just going to be better for me. Yeah. Does she ride it? No, it's. I think it's the battery. Oh, yeah. That's easily we can done. fix it. Yeah. Yeah. That's easily fixed. Yeah. Probably. But it, it looks kind of like um, the Barbie cars. Yeah. It's like got the cream and then like um, like Hawaiian flowers. So it, it looks like it's for my mom. I would kind of want to pimp it out a little bit. Yeah, well, you got, I mean, you get your paint, so. Yeah. You just paint it. It'd be like, it'd be like weirdo art car, like the guy that drives around with all the trash in his shit, but he has like all the shit on the outside of the car. Have really? you ever seen I've that? I've never guy? seen that. Oh, there's this dude that's like an old Toyota, I think. And like all three of the seats are filled to the brim with like paper products, okay. you know, like the whole car, but the outside of the car is like all these like super like neoliberal like bumper stickers and like glued on dinosaurs and oh, like all yeah. this shit and it's like what the fuck 
probably like a bunch of like global warming stickers yeah. on there. But meanwhile, he's driving like probably the most emissions <laughs> producing yeah. Toyota yeah. ever. Yeah. In exi- it's like an 80s two Toyota Corolla. It's fucking crazy. Well, hey, uh, I guess it's probably that was the soft opening. Soft mm-hmm. opening. I, d- I don't ever know how to start the thing because yeah. I feel like am I supposed to tell people who I am or do all they know off they know like, you. the picture? Yeah. No, but I'm not. No, not who I am, but who I'm talking oh, to. Yeah, you yeah. know. But this is uh, welcome back. This is Black Magic TV, as you already know if you're watching this. Um, hats on and wands up to all you members of the Mystic Order. And today we have with us artist, uh, stand-up comic. Uh, recently learned she's Croatian, so technically this is a person of color. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maddie Stancic. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> Dude. Not uh, our first if or I could our take, last. If I could take that on, that would really help my uh, <laughs> I, comedy. Aaron, <laughs> Aaron messaged me earlier, and we were trying to think of a name for his new show. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I want to call it Scarbro. Yeah. He sends me a voice message. Like, not typed it. He sent yeah. me a voice message. So he was he's excited. Like, <laughs> he's like, because then I can say... Because Diary of a Mad Black Woman was already taken. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's a good joke, but like, I don't think that's a great. N- it's just your last name. I don't think that really gives an in-depth guide into what you're getting into <laughs> yeah. here. You went from National Prayer Breakfast to Scarborough. Scarborough. And it's like, there's already a podcast. He knows what he likes. Named Joe Scar, the Joe Scarborough podcast. So I was like, oh, okay. maybe we. Hmm, what were we thinking? Think a- maybe like Scarborough colon. S- diary of a mad black woman you know <laughs> yeah. that should be what it is formerly known as a mad black woman Aaron yeah. Scarborough but yeah so uh Maddie is lives in ke- downtown right yeah. like you don't live far I, f- I put that yeah. together when you said I'm on my way yeah and this is 10 the- minutes later you were like I'm here yeah and I was like oh shit that was- and I got gas <laughs> yeah oh and you got gas yeah nice where'd you get gas at um Old Grand Slam. The Grand Slam. Dude, I got locked out of my car twice the same week at that gas station. Have you been there? Oh, well, of course. It's scary. I've missed Old Grand Slam. It was just a liquor store. Uh, well, I know the guys up there now. They, I mean, yeah. we got kind of comfortable that week. Because, like, yeah. I got my grandpa's best friend died, so he gave me this, like, 95 Cadillac. I saw the Cadillac. It's pretty, yeah. it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, It's falling apart, but. Right. I didn't know that the fob and the driving key were two different things. Yeah. Whatever. So the fob died and it wasn't working, whatever. And that was on a newer car pu- that two you're and one. used to it yeah. being all in one, yeah. obviously. Right? Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that anything else existed. Um, so that was like on a Tuesday, got locked out. It was a whole, whole ordeal. And, uh, I was sitting out there and it was so cold and I was sitting outside with like three homeless dudes and one of them had like a dog. And I, I mean, I looked like dog shit too. So like I looked just part of the gang. We were just all hanging out. And then one of them went inside and left his dog with me. And this guy came up and was like, can I pet your dog? And I was like, I don't, <laughs> I'm not homeless. Like this is just, I was like, I don't know this dog. And then the dog like snapped at him. And then I finally got in my car called AAA, and then like two days later I was in there and I was like that was kind of crazy right boys well good to see you and then I went back out locked out again I was like you gotta be fucking kidding me but we've had a good laugh about it we got pretty close yeah how much did AAA charge you to break into your car I don't think anything I don't know I don't pay anything oh, yeah. <laughs> could have been a lot yeah could have been. <laughs> yeah I have one of those kids like in oh, my really? car at all times like a lockout kid yeah yeah in your car though what what good is that? Well, because I don't lock my keys in my car. Oh, it's for others? Yeah, it's for it, the random situations I've been in where I, how many times I would unlock someone's car with like a coat hanger. Yeah. I can now go, well, for 40 bucks, I'll get into your car yeah. for you. And people would be like, okay. Like, yeah. It's 100 if you have the locksmith come. But yeah. Like for you, you got a body man right here yeah. with the tools on him. But yeah, I mostly bought it because there was this old old guy I met, Mike Jones, and he has this. I was just driving around like, I like to drive around the worst parts of town mm-hmm. to like find cool cars, and okay, I found yeah. this old black dude that had this like forty nine Chevy. So wait, let me. Pu- when you find cool cars, you like walk up and like knock on the door. Uh, sometimes. That's this bold. time I drove by and saw it, and there was people outside. Okay. And they kind of eyeballed me, these two old black dudes. Mm-hmm. And I'd like turn, I went down the block, turned around, and there's like a drug house like next door. And it's mm-hmm. like a shifty neighborhood. 
But I turned around and came back and was like, hey. I was like, I just pulled up and stopped. And like on the side of the road, I pulled up close to him. And they're like in the driveway, like from here to that wall, you mm-hmm. know. And I was just like, is that your car? And he's like, oh, yeah. And then like we got to talking. And the next thing you know, I'm out of the car. I was there for like an hour and a half. And I went over there and we eventually got broke into the car. And then we tore the wheel off. And then the bad weather came. So Mike Jones is supposed to call me when he gets some more parts. I've been going over there working on his car. Really? With him, like just hanging out. Like it's just like him. They'll just like hang out and drink That's beer so all cute. day. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They rule. They just talk shit. But they he's had this car since like, forever, like since the 80s. And it's like super bitching. It? It's a 49 Chevy Coupe. Okay. It's just a really cool old car. And wow. it has all these like aftermarket parts that were made from like J.C. Whitney catalogs and shit, which is like a place where you can like mail order like cheap customizing parts. Mm-hmm. But it has all these weird customized parts on it. And it's a cool car. But uh, so hopefully we get that thing running because yeah. he's, he's like, I think he's disabled or something. He's mm. like kind of fucked up. Yeah. But his wife's cool. She's cool. He's I want to jazz that caddy up. I think it's got potential. Yeah, it's like mafia wife yeah, status. Yeah, yeah. That's how I feel. You need track. Well, you should be wearing more track suits. Yeah. Not even like the velour ones, but like the 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 gaudy ones that have mm-hmm. like the Juicy. gold. No, 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 no. Like I'm talking about the ones from like the 80s and the 90s that have like the multiple gold lanyards oh, okay. sewn in to yeah. like the different colored <laughs> panels, and they're made of like fucking all synthetic material yeah. not an ounce of cotton in them so like when you walk it just goes <laughs> i've been smoking cigarettes out of it too and it yeah. feels hotter yeah than in the f-150 you know it's yeah. a totally Is different that what you're driving before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i have the most obscure cars given to me i mean i can't afford anything my dad was just like this truck's sitting here you can use it but then the windows got busted out and i lucked out when my grandpa's best friend died <laughs> yeah that's wild have you ever bought a car? Yeah. Yeah. In when high school. When you bought one, what did you buy? It was a uh, Nissan Altima. Sick. Two-door. Little blue thing. I loved like it. Fast and Furious. Yeah. Life. I would whip that thing around. Yeah. Yeah. Now you got a Cadillac. I love drifting. That's my favorite thing. Drifting? Yeah. Like the sport or just like the act of? The act of doing it. One time I did have a dude like from, I knew him from elementary school and I saw on his page that he does that. And this was like probably 10 years ago and I hit him up and I was like, I just want to see what this is about. And, um, I was really nervous so, cause I didn't know him and it was like, it's like a whole community, you know, it was like oh, a yeah, whole gang have, of it. Uh, yeah. Uh, the guy, a buddy of mine that the one that like turned me on to the, getting this camera yeah. and that like helps me, help me set all of this yeah. up. Nick Stacy, Nick has a drift company where they like put on drift events I know, like a bunch. This was of like street. That, this was just like. Oh we no, had they to, like, do it on the really? street. Yeah, and they do it at the track. But oh, I know, sick. I know, all I love that people stuff. that are like into. Dude, that I want to go to something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, he has an event because they do it. They did it at Penn Valley. I don't know where they're. I think they still do it there, but they're like they're trying to find somewhere else to do it. I think because they do this thing where two of them go together. Oh my god, I would love that. And Penn Valley won't let them do that anymore because they said. It's too dangerous or something. Yeah. It's like, well, these guys, that's what they live for. Yeah. That guy just built this insane, like, car simulation in his house. Whoa. So he's a simulator rig that, like, you sit in. Oh, I could show it to you after this. But it, like, you put on VR headset, and it's, like, has all the shit like your car would have. Oh it God. looks like a car cockpit, and it fucking moves. Oh, my God. I would love and, like, that. does all this shit. It's crazy. It's, like. They're, they're, it's like, well, the wow. one time I went, like I, I got too, I was nervous cause I didn't know him. I didn't know what I was getting into. Yeah. So, and I was like 20. So I got really drunk and then we were drifting and I was like, I'm, I just felt sick the whole time. And then I didn't, I didn't know him very well. And I didn't know that dynamic. And there were like these two girls that thought I was like trying to date him, but know his girlfriend. And I was just like drunk and like throwing up. And I was just like, yeah, I just, I was just along for the ride. Yeah, just, just spinning around hanging, the city. Yeah. yeah. So That's I would like wild. to go in a new, <laughs> a new light. Yeah, it's a cool thing to watch. It's like pretty, like when they do it on like a track and it's yeah. like closed off and yeah. like, you know, controlled environments. Yeah. They It's even crazier than on the street. Yeah, because we had to like hop from place to place. Like there were different meetups because cops would come. Yeah. So you had to like go to the plaza, then go to like a quick trip. And it was cool. I liked it. Yeah. It felt, it felt bad. It was fun. Yeah, there's all kinds of shit like that. There's like the lowrider community. They just all like will go cruise and then like. That's sick. 
then go meet up somewhere and then uh do you know anybody with hydraulics oh yeah oh, I, it's on my bucket list i just gotta feel it oh i can make that happen Dude. no problem oh really oh yeah my buddy clint that's been on the show oh, uh my, my buddies own a lowrider shop over in casey mo twin cities i would joe, love to joe check and robert this stuff out. robert Sale. yeah dude that's we need easy, to plan it easy, i want to do it i want to do it one. yeah that sounds like a whole video for that's that that's welcome to the network yeah we will now we be filming content, series uh, <laughs> called maddie tries where we just <laughs> take you to it's do just shit that's screaming. just normal things to the rest of us <laughs> it's just you like freaking out about it i'm, I'm gonna have tears in my eyes <laughs> yeah my buddy clint he has a cadillac um like the the big bodied ones from like the mm -hmm. 90s yeah i guess it'd be i'd have to see wait is yours i know nothing about it yours might be i have to look to, is yours rear rear wheel drive or front wheel drive do you know mm, i would, ass <laughs> I would I'd assume have to, rear I, I i'd have to see if it is because they had both those years i need to look at it better but it's like the same cadillac you have but it's really? on hydraulics yeah are they expensive to i can't on? afford my lights right now but i'm i'll look into yeah, it <laughs> You'll just have to sell several paintings. Yeah, I just texted. Remember my mom that barista and... job we were talking about? <laughs> You're gonna go ahead and need to get yeah. that. I told my mom, I was like, "We're uh, what did I say? We're making money moves." And she goes, "What's that?" And I was like, "We're hustling this week." Yeah. Just means I'm reaching out to people and going, "Hey, can you uh, pay up front for that commission?" Yeah, <laughs> that's can the you... money move. <laughs> yeah, that's the half up front. Can you spot me? I need that's... half up front. Yeah. Those are my big moves. Yeah, it's no big deal. But I mean, you do co a lot of comedy, right? Yeah, it's been helping with the art too because I bring my prints and then I can like promote there. And that's kind of, I mean, the commissions are like a, a one time chunk, you know, but the little 20 bucks here and there is like, yeah, I'm coasting on that right now. Yeah. And that's, that's a good thing. It's nice. I'm lucky. How often, when did you start? How old are you, Maddie? I'm 20. I'll be 29 in March. Okay. When did you start doing comedy? Um, three years ago, right after COVID. I saw a comedian post and he was like, oh, coming back. I'm going to be really rusty. And I was like, that's the sweet spot. I want the bar to be low. And I'm going to jump in. And I, I mean, I kind of dabbled. Like, I went out once a month. So nobody really knew who I was for the first, like, year. Right. Which was nice because I wasn't confident or, I mean, I still tell the same joke. So I hope I was a little funny. But nobody knew me. Um, so, like, three years now. Okay. Same with art. I kind of, I mean, I messed around in high school a little bit and I took like one college class and I liked it and I was decent, but, um, I never really sat down until I moved out of my mom's house and I was like, all right, we're bored. And it COVID. Yeah. I had nothing to do, but just sit and draw. And I made like a miniature little replica of my apartment in COVID just out of trash. That hobby is come and gone, but I got, Diorama. I leaned in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. What, uh, what part of town did you grow up in? Uh, Lisa Mint. Okay, so you were, does your mom still live there? Like, do they yeah, yeah. still live there? Okay, yeah. yeah, that's Nico, who's like my little brother. That's where he lives at. He, I, I know oh, really? a bunch of people. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Lee Scum at Millionaires. Yeah. Jasper, who was just on the show, he's originally from Lee Summit. Really? Yeah, he's got this band. He? Uh, he's like the same age as you. Okay. I wonder Jasper if the same people. Jasper Atkins. Well, hmm. so is Nico. Say, Nico Lynn. Hmm. -mm. He's an artist. Really? Yeah. Okay. He's like the same age as you, though. I'll reach out. Yeah. I'll check him out. From from, I'll show you shit after this. But uh, so, what did you do? Like, did you go to college? I did. Yeah, <laughs> but it was like <laughs> <laughs> one year at community college, and I was like, I bet I could do it at Pitt State. So I went for like one year, just a nightmare. Hated it. Um, and then I came back to Longview, and then I just like coasted probably five years at Longview, have nothing to show for it. <laughs> just, just really out. just wanted to give him my money. <laughs> yeah, just hanging out, going yeah. to college. Huh? Yeah. Did you work? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Like prior to COVID, what were you doing? Serving tables. I mean, I work okay. at uh, the improv too. So um, I've been there for a while. The I, Funny Bone. Yeah. It's yeah. They no made longer the, the improv. I'm sorry, I, dead named. Um, dead name. Yes, you just dead name <laughs> yeah. the fucking comedy club. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I worked at a Mexican restaurant for years too, and that was a, a hoot. I love yeah. that. It was, I've never been good at serving. Yeah, <laughs> I've been how, it's all I've done. Still not good at it. How often do you work at the comedy club? Um, just when I mean, I'm like two months off of like no job. Right. So, uh, just whenever they they say that I'm like a, a divorcee or like a divorce 
kid. Like this is like dad's weekend. Like whenever mom doesn't want me, I go to the improv. <laughs> just yeah, like yeah, I, yeah. I need. Now did prior to, so that's where you were working whenever you were like, Hey, I'm just not going to have a job. Yeah. Now. Yeah. And how long when you were, were you doing that? F- like, that I guess it. full time, like full time. Yeah. So that's like Thursday through Sunday. Yeah. Then, but right? I mean, it's, it's comedy. So like I would have to like choose between my own shows or making money. So it was like, that was in my next question. Yeah. Like, just, but did that help at a certain point? Like working there? A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the city yeah. at least? And I love... Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I met a lot of people. I mean, like, I uh, met a lot of the comedians that are my now very close friends just doing that, you know? Right. Which f- I felt dorky because, like, I didn't... I don't like whenever people are like, oh, I wish I could do an open mic. And it's like, it's open. Do it, you know? So, like, yeah. I... And I knew that. And I knew that annoyed comedians. So, I was like, never be that guy, you know? So, I would just, like, give compliments. But, like... It's, it felt dorky because I knew in the back of my mind, like, I'm going to be your friend one day, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, but, uh, yeah. And you probably got to meet, like, out of, like, touring comedians. Yeah, yeah. Which is also yeah. probably... But also, I know I'm just a green room server, so I'm like, I just, you know... Yeah, don't, but just... I'm like, don't remember my face. Like, this, right. I look stupid in this apron. Please, I'll meet you in a couple years. That was my yeah. mentality. I'm just like, <laughs> please forget who I am, you know? I didn't quite... Do, I've been handing people mixtapes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, here's a card with my this is my YouTube channel. Yeah, this Go is my minute and a half of jokes that I know. <laughs> I've been trying to convince John and Aaron, like, hey, why don't you guys start getting all these comics that you're opening up for? Like, can't you just like bring them over to my house to do the podcast? Yeah. And they're like, Yeah, they might think that's a little weird, yeah. dude. And I'm like, I don't know. Is it weird? Honestly, what if, might not be. Your podcast looks so cool and it is so cool, like one look at it and i'd be like yeah i'm down i think people might do it I w- yeah. i'd like to get dustin on that owns the yeah the comedy club oh yeah you guys would because i've uh we've been we were around each other a little bit when we were younger prior to him moving like just oh, really because i played music so we was like back then like when i was like 21 22 23 the art community it was all like it was a it was a giant mashup. So mm-hmm. it was like all the, all the comics, all the musicians, all the bands, all the, the hip hop artists, like mm-hmm. everyone, we all hung out together. Yeah. That's cool. Cause we were the only people allowed to like stay in the bars after clothes. And mm-hmm. then we'd, we'd, there'd be parties. Like we'd go to the art school parties. And so we, it was like a hodgepodge. And yeah. like now, like I struggle to even find a show to go to most yeah. of the time, which is like crazy for me. Yeah. Like, it's totally different. Not like Show, comedy like shows. Music? Yeah, like to go see yeah. it. Like last night I tried to go see music and I couldn't find. Yeah, I really want to lean in. It was all uh, cover bands. Oh. Like tribute acts. And it's just like, what happened? And there's all these bands I want to see. And it's just like, we're a flyover city now. Yeah. Because our football team's popular. Mm-hmm. Nothing cool happens at a place when the football team wins yeah. the Super Bowl. It's all jocks. Yeah. And everyone's they, yeah. freaking out on me because they're like, the fucking Chiefs. And I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. And it's just like, you just see so many like suburban families coming into the city now just to like get brunch and like take pictures in front of the big. Yeah. It's, it's weird. Like, it's, it's freaking me out. It's like, dorky. Yeah. And like, they just keep white, like Strawberry Hill's been like whitewashed and it's all mm. bars. Yeah. And it used to be like, there used to be like a soul food restaurant mm-hmm. and there was like this like really skeezy bar and then mm-hmm. there's like Artie's pinball bar and a couple other things. But now it's just like, man, like you drive down Central and there's like Slaps Barbecue and there's a fucking line a mile and a half mm-hmm. long. It's like, cool. Just I guess I won't get around yeah. easy in my own neighborhood today. Yeah. Like, yeah, but that's why I like it over here. It's chill. It's I do nice. like it over here. Your kid can walk down the street. Like, yeah. This neighborhood's pretty legit. Yeah. Now I used to live a half mile up the road, and I found a dead body across the no street one way. day. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Like I guess as cool as it could be to find a dead body. I mean, I tripped over a dead body. I didn't know they were dead. I just thought it was a homeless person sleeping. And then all day long, I was like, man. I went to work. I was like, they're like the guy I work with looked at me. He's like, what's the matter with you? I was like, dude, I'm pretty sure I tripped over a dead body this morning walking my dog. He's like, what? I was like, it was in this like empty lot. And I was like, they had a blanket on. But I was like, I watched him for a minute and I couldn't tell if they were breathing. He's like, oh, that's some shit that would happen if you were looking at anybody. I'm like, yeah, OK. Sure as shit. I got home that afternoon and there's about 50 cops and oh, firemen God. and tape and. 
Oh, like, so was it like have a, a murder? Or was it just like somebody that died? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't think murder. They overdosed in this drug house. Oh. Later on, the guy admitted to me what happened. That she overdosed at the house and they took she? her body. Yeah, it was a chick, a young, a young woman. And they took her body out back because they didn't want to get... In trouble. In trouble, yeah. Which is weird. They yeah. have, there's a bunch of weird things going on over there. There's like a cartel drug house. There's all kinds of wild shit. It's a nice place. The old apartment was rad. I loved it. It was cool. Yeah. I painted the living room up all cool. It had like super stripes from the 70s painted around oh, wow. the whole thing. And it was nice. But it after I got my daughter, I got custody of my daughter a year ago. And it's like, yeah, well, it's probably not the yeah. best place. Uh, two of us in a one bedroom. And like even this house is like we're kind of cramped here. I like this like, house. Yeah, this it's it's a nice little house. Landlords, yeah. you know. A fucking scuzz bag really but which one isn't yeah they all are he just don't want to fix nothing and i get it so i just like kind of fix it all myself yeah i had a garbage disposal that was out for like three weeks and i called three times and then the last call i was like on the verge of tears because i had done so many dishes and i think she could hear the weeping <laughs> and she was like okay we can fix it but like yeah. it's just those little kind of things that like yeah, well, my thing was, like, the doors needed to be sealed. Yeah. So, like, they bought me door seals. I'd have to, like, put them in myself. And then it's, like, it's always something. Like, all that, like, insulation shit I got mm -hmm. for free from uh, an old buddy, Rob Holland, gave me all that to use inside my van walls. But I was, like, well, this would be better suited for the studio because it it's basically cool. sound dampening material because there used to be, like, a pretty heavy echo down here. Mm -hmm. So we got rid of that, but. Well, it looks cool too. Yeah, I'm hoping my lease is up in May, but mm. I'd like to stay for like one more year because like I'm pretty heavily invested yeah. at this point. Yeah. Like you've seen the other room yeah. and this room. This and it's is like, home base now. Yeah, I'm pretty heavily invested in yeah. this. And then like the wall that no one can see, that's where we're going to turn everything sideways. Mm. And then that that's a whole other. Another studio. Right, it's a different set, yeah. right? And then, like, now I have a green screen I'm going to set up. Dude. And I'm going to hide it back behind there so that anytime I can bring the green screen out and put it right here, you know, and then, boom, it's a whole... Then it can be whoever. Like, you yeah. could come over, sit in a chair, yeah, and then, like, it's whatever background we put yeah. on it, right? So that's the idea. I've been trying to grow it to where it's not just, like, me doing shit. So, like, Aaron's starting his show this week. Mm -hmm. And I've been, like, real open with I anyone about, like, well, let's do some shit. Let's yeah. see. Let's make something happen. Like, it's easier to, like, get a bunch of people to collaborate on one thing, like, one channel. Yeah. Than it is for, like, if everyone starts a channel, then it yeah. will never. I've been watching and researching. Basically, like, the idea is, like, you grow it all off of one thing. And then when if one thing gets super huge, you move it over to its own thing and then keep building, uh, keep building with the first thing. And yeah. then you can keep you're just building like, you know, building a castle and then creating yeah. kingdoms around yeah. it. You know, yeah. that's the idea. But, yeah, so I've been pretty open. Well, I'd to love like, to write in that. Uh Oh yeah, we can make that. I think that would be pretty good. We can we can do that this this summer, spring. I can make that happen. We'll get Maddie in a drag car. Oh, Maddie in God. the uh just uh, drive me around. Low rider. Just yeah, just, just driving, driving around, around Maddie. It's just you riding with <laughs> random people <laughs> in their custom cars. <laughs> Dude, I would love that. It sounds great. I yeah. think it'd be clutch. <laughs> it would be clutch. It's like what? Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah. Very a uh, comedian yeah, in cars easily impressed with comedian. Yeah, in cars <laughs> with <dirt> <laughs> okay, put it in the notes app. That's yeah, good. We'll do like that. It. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, that would be fucking awesome. <clears throat> what uh wh what made you want to do comedy? I don't know. I just wasn't good at serving. <laughs> you were just like, I'll just try this. No, out. I don't know. People always said I should try it, and I, <clears throat> it was kind of in the back of my mind, but it was just so scary for so long, and I don't know. I just finally bit the bullet. Honestly, I met Aaron. And I, I like I said, I didn't want to be the one that was like, I wish I could try it, you know. And then one day I was like, I kind of feel ready, and if I once I mention it to him, I have to do it because right. I don't want to look like a dork. So right. I said it, and he's like, Yeah, there's an open mic. I was like, Fuck. Okay, so I had to do it, and it went well. It was all right. It was in Raytown. Raytona Beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where Aaron, that's Aaron's <laughs> stomping grounds currently. Yeah. 
That's a weird place too. Yeah. Raytona Beach. I've got family there. Uh, that checks out. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I had the same thing. I never tried telling jokes. I tried to go on Kill Tony once. What? When I went to see Kill Tony. Uh, yeah. I've been like a huge fan. My oldest friend, he turned me on to Death Squad like fucking almost 20 years ago now. Like to like Red Band shit. And then mm. like we've been listening to Joe Rogan since it was on like Justin TV or whatever. Yeah. And we've been, you know, we've been in the podcast like listening yeah. for a long, long time. And uh, we friend. went to see Kill Tony at the Granada in Lawrence, and oh, I wow. signed up. I was, like, all prepped. And yeah. undoubtedly, if I went back and watched that episode, I'm sure, like, Aaron or John or someone is on that thing. John might have lived in L.A. at that time. But it was fucking awesome. I didn't yeah. get my name pulled out. Yeah. Like it, Our friend uh, Dayton was just on it. Oh, sick. Yeah, oh, I saw really that. Well. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. We're so proud of that boy. Yeah, didn't he move to... Or is he um, from here? He's in New York now. Yeah. yeah but he's, oh, yes, yes. Yeah. He is supposed to be, he was supposed to, that's the guy that opens for Mark Norman, yeah. right? Yes. I We've been talking and he, he we tried to make it happen and then something came up. I think the weather got shitty, but mm -hmm. he's going to, good. he's going to come on next good. time he's in town. He's like, dude, I'm back all the time. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. That's why I hesitated cool. to say New York because I always forget. I'm like, I think he is here. <laughs> but, yeah. I think maybe but, he's just yeah. floating yeah. around because there's that other guy that he did that hot waffle show. Mm -hmm. I can't think of his name. He had like a really thick mustache, but he was the only like local or no, no, he kind of like just traveled. He doesn't have a home. He like goes around mm -hmm. and he was like going up to Chicago after he left here. But I, I'd have to look him up. David, maybe David something, but he was like, I put in quotation marks. The only no, don't take any offense, Evan, if you're watching this, the only normal person that was on <laughs> the hot waffles that day, like the one, the only one that wasn't like some extreme version of something, yeah. you know what I mean? That's a wild comedy show. Yeah. It's a fun one. Yeah. Well, it, yeah, it can be. I took my daughter to the last one mm. and Every person made an abortion joke, and then they had something about they all were like obsessed with coming that day. So, and sometimes like, there's themes, and even <laughs> like, but none of the jokes made a 14. It's like if you're telling a jizz joke and yeah. you can't make a 14 year old <laughs> laugh, you guys might want to stop with Shape the jizz up. jokes. Trim the fat. Yeah, we're gonna need you to <laughs> trim that fat off those jizz <laughs> jokes, dude. But when I was younger, people always told me that, and I was like, no, nah, I'm not funny, I just. I'm good at talking shit. Yeah. I like got like shop humor, right? Mm -hmm. Which is like, you know, you figure out whatever a person, whatever the thing you don't want to be the most, mm -hmm. like, and then I'm going to call you that. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's like when people are like, it's not, it's not, it's not meant to be like hatred towards gay people. But when like my straight buddy does something, I'm like, dude, that's you're fucking gay, dude. Like, and you come up that's with an move? invented yeah. way yeah. of calling them gay. It offends them the most. <laughs> Because that's the thing that they're most scared of being, yeah. right? Like, it's like a prison rape joke. Like, mm -hmm. rape's not funny at all. But, like, a prison rape joke is because yeah. it's some, like, super straight guy that you're saying that to. Because yeah. that's the most, he's most afraid yeah. of being butt fucked. Right. Like, that's the thing that <laughs> terrifies him the most. The yeah. scariest thing to a super straight white guy is prison anal rape. sex. Yeah, yeah <laughs> anal sex. <laughs> receiving it they probably give it all the time like, that's <laughs> <laughs> fucking weirdos yeah i just like i like the silliness of comedy you know yeah. i just like the the goofing a lot of i just gets i get so bored of like people trying to prove a point in comedy and you know i'm just like oh just yeah give me some stooges <laughs> yeah yeah just be funny can you yeah. just be funny yeah that's what also don't they just take themselves way too serious. Yeah. I think like you don't, and I get that way too. But I mean, it's stupid because like most of my jokes are just like ridiculous, but like they're mostly cum jokes. They're mostly cum jokes. It's a lot of cum. <laughs> 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 my mom says, honey, you're dirty, but you're not filthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I feel like Aaron, like Aaron has a very, like uh Aaron can make those points mm -hmm. like yeah. about social things yeah. and social matters, but not do but, it's but in he a does silly it manner. In, in a silly manner yeah. to where it's like, wait, are you serious? Yeah. Like we were over here and when he was on my podcast, I had never met him. Mm -hmm. And John introduced us online. 
In you met on your podcast? Huh? You met on the podcast? Yeah, like five wow. minutes yeah, before. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. John was just like, he, you should have Aaron on yeah. your show. I was like, cool. This is, yes. So we're like out back, and he's like talking to me about communism. And all I could think of was like, oh, dear God, what have I done? <laughs> and then like there's one part where he's on here. He's like, well, I don't. Th- I mean, there's obviously, as you well know, there's no left in this country anymore. And I was just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> and I'm like looking at him like, dude, you got a fucked up way of thinking there, bud. But it was just these weird things that he would say. And I'm just like, did he really believe that? Yeah. And it's like, now I've learned to where it's like, probably not. He's like there's probably talking. a lot of it yeah. that he says, like there's just bullshit, yeah. which is also awesome. That's the best. But uh, it's fucking funny. But he's like, I've been trying to get him to do a painting show where he dresses up like a Soviet era communist and like, just paint Soviet propaganda artwork and then that would be like called comrades or something. <laughs> a live stream or what? I don't know, something. something. I just thought it'd be you just funny. Gotta do it's that. like right up his <laughs> yeah. alley, you know what I mean? Yeah. So when uh you perform like like weekly, obviously, yeah. but like you seem to do a lot at the at like, the club. At the club, right? Um, like Yeah, I've been uh <sighs> I'm supposed to host every Thursday. Um, it's like a, they do an open mic. They pick the top eight, and then we'll do like a little showcase um, on my night, and I host that, and then it's an open mic. Uh, At which club? The Comedy Club of Kansas City. Okay. Um, check it out. Um, but yeah, I've a, uh, I've only done it twice <laughs> so far. <laughs> I, got, I had somebody sub in a couple times, but yeah. But it's gonna well, be cool. Yeah. yeah. And I've been hosting, um, Dustin has been really good to me and I, I've been hosting for some pretty rad people. Yeah. Cause that's step one, right? Host. Yeah. And then after that, it's like, cause you hosted last weekend, right? Yeah. And then Aaron opened up mm-hmm. for, so it's like one, two, three, right? Yeah. Like that's, yeah. yeah. Which I had, it was, um, <clears throat> my very favorite comedian is Jordan Jensen and I, uh, like, I was hinting to Dustin months ahead. I was like, Hey, Jordan's coming. Like if you need anybody, I already took off work. I'm going to be there no matter what. And then, um, like a couple weeks earlier, I was like, just so you know, like still available, whatever. Even if you need like a food runner, like whatever, I'll just be there door guy. I'm your girl. And then, uh, he was like, yeah, you can host. And then like hours before he was like, I fucked up so bad. I already told somebody she could host, but like you can do a guest spot. And then, um, it kind of worked out even better because as a host, you have to be like on stage and like watching all the sets. But like as this guest spot, I just got to like hang out with Jordan and like she bought art and like I got to hang with her and it was fucking rad. Sweet. Yeah. She's the best. That worked out then. Yeah. Yeah. I need a, I gotta, I gotta reach out to him and get him on the show. You guys would vibe so hard. I wanted to, uh, I would like, I think if we were going to. Aaron and I have been talking about shooting a special for him because mm-hmm. I was like, I, he's You're like, the guy. I, I, well, I was just down to try it, you yeah, know? Yeah. And I think that's where we should do it at mm-hmm. to like, you know, get it. It's home base. Yeah. But also like make it, uh, we can, if, the most controlled environment, more mm-hmm. controlled than doing it somewhere else. But I think of anywhere, if I was going to talk comics to come be on a thing where it's like streamed, yeah. you know what I mean? I think it, at the comedy club yeah. would probably be the place where they would think most seriously about doing yeah. it. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Because I think it, I, I'm I'm like pretty big into that idea, and yeah. I think it would be cool, and to do like a, you know, whatever. I just think people would dig it. Yeah. I have all these like now that I can like basically make a live production everywhere. I'm like, where can we do this? Yeah, shit and at? Uh, Dustin has like a little projection room upstairs. It's pretty. Uh, yeah. Neat. That's what I've heard. Yeah. yeah, I need to. I need to get a hold of him. Just pick his brain. You guys would. Yeah. Okay. There's so much you can do in a theater space too, yeah. especially like that, because it's like, you know, it, hey, Tuesday night, can we use the room yeah. for something? It's like, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Oh, sure. On the night when nothing's happening, yeah. obviously, duh. Right. But it just opens it up to like being able to do all kinds of things, like mm-hmm. even like shooting Aaron special. Like, yeah, we wouldn't have to do that on a Friday night. Yeah. We could. We could. It's like, hey. It's free. Yeah. It, just to pack the room. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then have fucking, you know, everybody's buying food and drinks or whatever yeah. for sure. But yeah, I think I'm down for the challenge. I think it would be fun to do. Get a couple of their camera guys, like three cameras rolling yeah. and fucking. I think, he, I think he has enough to shoot a decent special. Oh, yeah. And make it look all pro. Yeah. And 
light it and plus i'm sure the lighting at the comedy club is probably pretty fucking good already yeah that's the best thing about a comedy club because the entire that's crowd is do. dark yeah and the stage is lit to the it's gills yeah. so it's yeah. like oh yeah no don't need these yeah. things you know yeah but yeah yeah okay. that's always a problem like i did a show in um harrisonville and it was at this like vfw winery sick yeah and uh we had to put this spotlight on that was just like ridiculous we had to put it on a bus and it w- there was like a bus inside the it's just always a pain in the ass to think about you know but like comedy club will be yeah no like i tried i shot just- some shit at uh hillsiders for one of John's nights, Aaron yeah. was on it and I went to like get some shit and then Did it look it's good? just like way too dark. Yeah. And then it also like, I was reusing my, just the shotgun. mic. I was just doing it. I, if I, I told all of them that if I had something usable, I would edit it down. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I think I was there that night. I think so. Cause yeah. Ryan was it Ryan. What's Ryan's name? Tricky. Tricky the yeah. one that says he's been with this girlfriend. The one that everybody keeps saying just got married yeah, or whatever. Yeah. 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 That guy, I told him, I was like, oh, I got your whole deal. So if, there, if it's usable, I'll, sit, I'll clip it and send it to you if you'll let me post a couple yeah. clips. He's like, yeah, whatever. And it just, I told him later, I was like, dude, I got to refilm some shit yeah. for you because it's just not usable. Well, that actually all. makes me feel better because whenever I got up on stage, I saw where your camera was and I knew where my skirt was and i like walked over your camera to get on stage and i was like oh, oh I got, he's gonna like total he's hold. definitely gonna see my crotch up, in editing yeah, just upskirt <laughs> yeah. so that's awesome upskirt. i'm glad to hear that yeah. none of that worked out <laughs> we got it i got that photo i'm waiting for i'm, I'm just gonna release it it's yeah. just gonna be like in the middle of this it's gonna be like one frame I'm like, yeah. like make that the like, cover yeah. of the yeah <laughs> our <laughs> guest today <laughs> <laughs> you'll recognize her you'll recognize her <laughs> From her upskirt photos at Hillsiders Bar and Grill. Her amazing upskirt performance. It might as well be. That's all my set is anyways. In December. (laughs) I guess that was January. Yeah, that was December, I guess. That was like a month ago. (coughs) My jokes could also be told from my crotch. They're the same same Same, content. One (laughs) of the same content. One of the same. Yeah. No, but I'm happy to hear that. (laughs) Yeah. No, I don't think I, I... it's like a weird thing because like the lens that I got because I had just gotten this new lens, but it it's like a cinema lens, but it 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 does a good job of like wherever I'm focused in at, anything else is just blurred. Mm, cool. So it's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. But it was just too dark there. Yeah. That place is way too dark. Hard I have to focus to, on it. Like the other night, John's like, we could do this. Like, dude, it's a lot of. I want to do some shit. But what about? Could you bring these? I. Maybe, but it would also be a thing where I think I could talk to Logan and we could probably just install two smaller lights with yeah. bigger bulbs in them. Yeah. Like these things that I have behind the chair, like yeah. these deals. Yeah, it doesn't need to be a hole. Behind the, the stands would be shroud, annoying. That's yeah. all that these lights are. But yeah, like if I could put a couple of these up at Hillsiders, if yeah. Logan was cool with it and I could like detach them, yeah. then like make it quick. Yeah. then that would work. But yeah. Logan and I have been homies since the day he moved here. Really? Like, we're really good friends, yeah. So he was, he would be down for me to do whatever, probably. That bar's so cool. Yeah, it's a cool place. He built a cool place. I'm glad that he bought that. Well, it was like his concept, and he sold it to Blake, and then that owns the Easy Inn, and then he ended up just buying Blake out of the project and like really? keeping it for him, like making it his, so okay. he didn't have to deal with another deal yeah behind the shroud that's also my landlord he's the guy that really? <laughs> <laughs> he's probably not watching though, i doubt it that's good if you are watching <laughs> hey you want to fucking get that shit out of my backyard <laughs> old joey there's a, joey's a good guy that works for him he runs the bar too mm-hmm. runs easy in he does like mm-hmm. the back end shit of all of it i don't know if you go to easy in at all been. yeah it's a lot of drugs, a lot of drugs there. <laughs> I don't mind. It's that. not that great of a, not my favorite place. A lot of my good friends work there. Really? That's great. I they crush it, but I, it's too small. It's a very small bar. It's like the size of my house, so it's like okay, asses to elbows all the time. Yeah. That's not my scene. I like that though. It needs to feel intimate. Sometimes when it's too spacious, I'm like I just oh, feel like I'm drinking alone. Uh, Hillsiders is spacious. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Kind of. No, that's. Mean. That's spacious and intimate at the same yeah, time. Yeah. Easy end is just just stacked. Stacked. Asses yeah. to elbows. Okay. 
to where it's like, don't, t- it's like, I don't want you touching me. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> the, but there's times where it's an impossibility to not have someone else physically touching yeah. you. Yeah. It's like, okay, maybe I'm out. I'll have to kill someone. Yeah. That's what happens. Get a little homicidal when I get <laughs> tight spaces. <laughs> I like a quick jump. Yeah, I don't like I don't like tight spaces. <laughs> if you ever been locked in a cell, you know you get yeah. to where you're like, yeah, not, I'm not in. There. There's yeah. a reason why this is all open. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like open. Yeah. Give me that open floor plan. Yeah. What uh? So mm. you're doing the art. You're selling art. Yeah. On top of doing your comedy, I know mm-hmm. you brought some of your art. So if you want to show some you of your art, you can. I'll let you look through it. I don't know what you like. Well, I mean, I've. S- you want to look? Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen these. We'll just go through, and you can explain these to me. Let's go with this thing. What? What is? That's a balloon animal nude. So this is a. Uh, this is sin nudes. Yeah. Obviously gendered because one's blue and one's pink. Yeah. I don't like all this gender in your. I was thinking I need to do a non-binary, but <laughs> I want to just make it a barista. Flag. <laughs> yeah, just a barista. Get the fuck. No, these are fine. <laughs> That's it. That's all they are. Yeah, those are great. This one, the girls does have a little uh, picture up on the top. We also gave the girls like tits. Yeah. Well, so. he's a he's a wiener too. Yeah. No, I see that. I was okay. trying. I, I actually I exposed my Baldur's Gate character. I didn't realize you can make him nude and i did that and but they let you pick the penis mm. you get to pick the genitalia so i exposed my boulders gate character's genitalia on stream on accident the other day so oh, since no. then we've been a little wary like yeah. how many dicks okay, are gonna be able to <laughs> show on this thing <laughs> before they <laughs> yeah. all right and then the next is that's hasbula it's hasbula with a handgun yeah you know him of course i know who okay. hasbula is Somebody the told me he died, but he didn't. He no, just, he's not dead. Yeah, he's not dead. He's Broke not my heart dead. for a little bit. He's a Russian. They don't yeah. die. <laughs> and this is self-portrait? What is it? Yeah. This is Maddie's ass. Yeah, as Winnie the Pooh stuck in the window. Do you remember that uh, episode? When no, I, I, yeah, I think it's from the Winnie the Pooh movie from yeah. back in the day. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. Um, that's, that's like a spot-on rendition of the... Uh, scene oh the rabbit uh, you forgot Thank to you. ink that black that pencil line right there listen just so you know it's not going to be perfect i know i'm just an art critic this is uh obviously the national rifle association's new this uh, is artwork yeah this I is like the it. poachers of build-a-bear poachers of build-a-bear <laughs> <laughs> okay let's see i did a show in weeping waters nebraska um Turned out to be a fucking nightmare. I had to drive back to Kansas City the same night. Got home at 4 a.m. But um, I was like, you guys kill your own food, right? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, I bet you kill your own teddy bears. And they loved that. Yeah. This is obviously you repping your set, blood set. But it's kind of, it's it's to unify. It's got blue. It's sparkly. It's fun. But it also, if you hold it this way, it says poo A. <laughs> so that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> dual purpose this is uh the virginia slim sticks artwork mm-hmm. that's pretty interesting thank you maybe try keto that's good maybe this is our lord and savior Wee herman rest in privacy he's got his own theater i i love Wee herman you can have it oh sick we'll hang that one up that'll go in the live stream room hell yeah this is uh Two nuns and a nice Jewish lady eating what could possibly be baba ganoush, I think. I think they're having a baba ganoush right there. That's called Thousand Pound Sisters. Thousand Pound Sisters. Uh, We have this one in the house already, which is Spider-Man cutting off eating Aaron Scarborough's head. Also in the King of the Hill kitchen. I don't think I mentioned that to you. you Ah, My kid loves Spider-Man, so Uh, I gave it to her. She thought it was funny. Good. Does she know Aaron? Yes. Yes, she met Aaron. Uh, this one's a Ouija board that says, I kind of want to dress slutty this year. And as you can see, Maddie is living that. (laughs) She came here dressed like a total slut. And I just (laughs) just skanked out. (laughs) Here she is in another picture of Maddie just slutting in the most (laughs) slutty clothes ever. (laughs) 
just slutting around <laughs> with all these eggs and bakey. <laughs> And this is Britney Spears from the knife video, right? See, I'm glad you said that because that sells, but there's no knives in there. But people yeah. think it is. And I'm like, yeah, sure, buy it. It's basically the same thing. <laughs> I painted it the week before that video dropped. This is that weirdo lady that killed her mom that everyone's hey. obsessed with. <laughs> yeah. That um, Gypsy murder's Rose. not cool, guys. Yeah. And this lady, it won't be. I feel bad for that man that she's with. Oh. Because she's going to kill him. <laughs> I think it could work. Have you seen the video of uh, she posted on TikTok and she got hacked and then she's like, this is me. I'm back. And he goes, yeah, and screw you guys. And she goes, bye bye. No, I haven't seen oh. any of that. Bay Bay rings in my, in my I head don't understand. The There's like, th it's like one of those weird things that's like, uh, again, like. It's just trendy to follow her. Yeah. It's like, and it's, it's like the gay community is like way into her. And I'm like, what? Uh, why? How? I don't. Yeah. I don't What's understand the crossover? that. I don't I get the crossover. Like, <laughs> yeah. this lady had her mother murdered by a guy She's off the slaying. internet. Like, She's yeah. slaying her mom. <laughs> yeah, literally slayed. And it's like, undoubtedly, it's a fucked up situation. But there's never any time where it's like, yeah, murder's called for in my world. But it's like a weird mm -hmm. one because she didn't That's, really yeah. get like she definitely planned a murder. Yeah, so but I mean, also, at like, I mean, what was she, 14? Yeah. You know, and like that kind of abuse, you know, and like that was the only guy she's ever spoke to. So it was like she was just so manipulated. So yeah. it's like he was a psychopath. She, I, you know, it kind of. But her mother manipulated her so much. Which, what, what scares me is like she's a master manipulator. Oh, yeah. And there was because that's how she's with she's with this dude now. Yeah. Like, you got together while she was locked up, bro. And the only other boyfriend she had murdered her mom. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where the evil is, but it is just all. There's the evil. There's there. a lot of it. I don't and know. And she if it's like from she her. turned straight hood rat. Yeah. <laughs> because she came to her formative years in yeah. JDC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, yeah. She's in the fucking youth authority of Missouri. <laughs> like this is. Uh, I didn't realize she was in Missouri. Oh, I didn't either. The, I think she's in was, Missouri, right? Wasn't she in Missouri? It happened in Springfield. Right. I didn't realize yeah. that. I didn't realize that she was from here. It seemed yeah. more like an Arkansas but yeah, thing, I was gonna but say Springfield her, checks yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Um, is this Denzel Washington? That was my mom's Christmas present. That's sick. Is She's that really from, horny uh, for him. What movie is that from? I don't know. Google. Google. The movie yeah, Google. she's horny for Denzel. So is I that John it. Cheezer or Let's Aaron? See. It's Aaron. Aaron with hot dog feet. My dogs are barking. Is this? That's me. Okay. <laughs> this is you, another slutty. <laughs> yeah, this, this is another. This one's more revealing. <laughs> Maddie's year of the slut dress <laughs> series. I, when I started that painting, it was just the face, and I wanted it to be like so dramatic, and there was like going to be raindrops, and like it was going to be dark, and then I just screwed up my mouth so many times. I looked like a butthole time and time again. I was like, I feel this, like you should over. call this Antifa colon super soldier. Okay. Because I feel you look like you're getting ready to go to a Black Lives Matter rally. <laughs> you look like you're getting ready to go protest the Proud Boys with a plastic shield on in this. I like it. Okay, thank you. I dig that. We'll you consider look, it. You look very Alia Akbar. <laughs> it looks very... <laughs> you might have a bomb vest on. <laughs> That's your slutty. That's your sluttiest lingerie. You, yeah, somebody, you come out with a fucking big reveal with a, 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 a Al Qaeda bomb vest, a suicide bomber vest on. Like, a little burlesque. <laughs> yeah, that's your burlesque. It's like there was like what's gonna happen? It's just a fucking full blown. Uh, <laughs> it's a Muslim robe with a bomb vest on under it, and this is a cat with other cats. Yeah. That's like um the movie The Witch. That was a commission. The Witch. But it sells, and I love selling it. Yeah, no, they're all great. The lettering's really good on that. Thanks. I do like that. No, this is all this artwork's great. Mm -hmm. Thank you for doing the show and tell for me. That was nice. Do it. Oh yeah, of course. I would like to, you know. Man, if that's your slut dress, I'd hate to see what happens <laughs> when you <laughs> reveal skin. Jesus Christ, the world. Would might be a nuclear implosion. Yeah, that peewee's yours. No, you have the... Uh, do what? No, peewee is yours. Oh, yeah, no. The peewee is going to get hung up. I have all kinds of art I need to frame. The peewee Herman. I fucking... I, I, like, legit, like... 
I've always loved Pee Wee, but yeah. like the other last night, there's like these dudes fake using like Arabic on Call of Duty, mm -hmm. and I was like, "We shut the fuck up, guy! Like you're not even saying anything." Yeah. And then like I started mocking them, and then finally I just kept going, "Mecca like a hi, Mecca hiney ho," and everybody's <laughs> like, "What in the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, goddamn, you guys don't know Howie Mandel's greatest work." <laughs> Um, I can't remember who played the genie, but Howie Mandel was like the cowboy guy on Pee Wee Herman. I have to. Pee Wee's Playhouse was sick. I have to tell you, I don't know anything about Pee Wee. You don't know anything about Pee Wee? <laughs> no, I just knew that he jacked oh, up in a theater and fuck, I made that. Dude. But now people really connect to it and I can't take that away. And I'm just like, yeah. I you know. gotta like. <laughs> I, love uh, him. I did. I watched, I watched clips when I painted this. Yeah. So I do rock You have with to him. watch like, you have to watch full episodes okay. of Pee Wee's Playhouse. Because it's the craziest thing you've ever seen. Okay. Like they had, they'd have like a word of the day and it would be like basketball. And he'd be like, the word is basketball. <laughs> but then all the puppets and everybody just starts screaming. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and so like, and it's, then somebody would come over, like the fucking cowboy would come by yeah. or like the genie and they would all, somebody would say the, the, the word of the secret word yeah. and then uh, all hell would break loose yeah. with people. It's fucking great, dude. It was the greatest show. He'd like wrap his head in. He's hilarious. Like comedy wise, he would like take scotch tape mm -hmm. and like wrap his head up with it yeah. all the way. It's just fucking it's incredible. The, you've never seen the movies? You've never seen like Pee-wee's Big did Adventure? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. But I mean, when I was like a small child, this was like, you know, I'm 40. Like this was a television show we looked forward to every week. Yeah. It was a new thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even the movies. Like, fuck, man. Tell them Large Marge sent you. Like there's things like, you know, where's the basement of the Alamo? Like there's no basement. In that, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is so, all these great quotes. You yeah. have to like do it. I will okay. make you do a Pee Wee. Dive. I will do that because I really, I watch people connect yeah. with this. I'm I'll like, just I'm put so on, sorry. Don't ask me anything about it. You can wear your slut outfit. <laughs> and just watch Pee Wee. Okay. <laughs> it'll be, <laughs> it'll yeah. be okay. Yeah. My lingerie. Yeah. <laughs> Put your lingerie on. <laughs> it's a fucking corduroy jacket. Yeah. Wear that thing I like. <laughs> yeah, wear that thing I like. Where's your fully? Where's your, where your long pants and button-up shirt at? <laughs> I see that's too much neck. Too much neck. Nope. Go change out of them <laughs> ankle socks right now. <laughs> I don't want to see that much skin. <laughs> Oh my yeah, god! That's my spring break fit. The spring break fit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ankle socks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. It's like the Seattle spring break. <laughs> yeah. Dressed like Kurt Cobain. I've been wearing like I have this. My I should have worn my sweater. I've been wearing my sweater. And like all these dudes, I know keep making fun of me because I have all these like I don't know. I have to show them to you. They're just like knit sweaters from back in the day. They're like mm -hmm. vintage. Mm -hmm. They're like yeah, nice sweater, queer. And I'm like yeah, like. What do you mean? They're trendy. Like, I guess I've had it forever. I'm just yeah. like, I don't know. It's just nice to wear. Like, I've what noticed are you talking like about the, the the uglier like anybody under twenty. I've noticed the uglier their outfit is. It's like, oh, nice. The cooler like, they yeah. are. Yeah. Just hideous, hideous clothes. But I had some like layer real freakazoids. Layer Look at me. hideous clothes. Like I'm walking yesterday. I got like a punk rock band shirt on, all black, except for this like sweater. It's mm -hmm. like white and blue. And I'm walking out of Nebraska Furniture Mart. And here comes two of the just biggest freakazoids in probably the their early 20s with their parents. And they're just like mean mugging me. I'm like, why are you looking at me like I'm not cool? You're not cool, dude. <laughs> I'm fucking cool, man. I'm at that stage in life. I'm yeah. at I'm fucking cool stage. Yeah. You don't understand how cool I am. I'm so fucking cool. You don't even get it. Yeah. Sometimes I look at him and I just go, you don't know about fashion. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, how could I be any cooler? Dude, I want to get to that stage. I, I went to a, like a bar in Westport the other day and I, I was like, I want to dance. And I got out there and I felt I felt old and I've never... I haven't had that experience. Yeah. Yet. You should go. Uh, if you want to feel young and dance, you need to go to knuckleheads. Yeah. I like knuckleheads. white people dancing. There yeah. is just funky town too, but that's a whole costume. It's a whole, it's a that's whole, whole and thing. It's, yeah, it's just a bunch of, see, there's no costumes at knuckleheads. That's yeah. just pure unbridled 
non-rhythmic. Just letting it rip. No tight joints. Yeah. It's a lot of stiff yeah, and a lot jiggling. Of it's like <laughs> stiff and jiggling. That's <laughs> the people at Knuckleheads dancing. Yeah. I guess if you don't know what Knuckleheads is, it's a fucking blues. It's a bar and grill. Not really a grill. Mostly just a shitty bar. It's a dive venue. bar, music venue, inside of an old body shop. They got honky tonk, country. Comedy. Rock and roll, comedy. Yeah, they started doing comedy. Frank Rules, the guy that owns it. He uh, fucking rules. Yeah, he's so cool. They do a lot of cool shit there. I really love that place. Yeah. And he's like expanded now. Now that a bunch of the venues closed, like after the pandemic, he started like bringing in other acts like they get turned on to him like people are going to play there so cool. that's been cool yeah but like this thing this stupid ncaa hockey sweatshirt mm-hmm. it's like this weird sweatshirt yeah it's like it's like a hockey sweatshirt so it has this like weird neck and it's all like extra s- puffy like yeah. you could wear it over pads or whatever i people compliment this thing dude that that shirt six like cool dude i bought it for a dollar at some <laughs> yeah. junk store man it's just warm yeah like, you, re- you like college hockey no, not yeah. at all. I fucking, I don't really. But that I like professional cool hockey. You back it up with that. Yeah, it's like no fucking college hockey's gay, dude. I like, and then I tell everyone here, I I'm like, like orange, I, stupid. Yeah, I just like red, dude. Is it red? I guess it's sort of orange now. Who knows at this point? Yeah, it's more orange than red. It it was very red when it started. Mm. I've washed it a bunch. It was like brand new when I got really? it. Yeah, it's just I. It could be a bootleg. I don't know. I don't care. I was going to sell it. Then I was like, yeah, I'll just wear it. Then I always, I have like some of the coolest shirts that people think. Like I got a Tasmanian, the devil, Harley Davidson shirt that says mm-hmm. bad to the bone. And I bought it from some tweaker at a yard sale <laughs> in Chicago. And then now it's just like, now it's 70 bucks. Yeah. yeah. I bought it for like a dollar and it's yeah. like, I should probably just sell this thing. Cause I never wear it. It's yeah. like, I, I feel, I feel lame wearing it. Like I'm trying to be cool. And it's like, yeah. I don't even like Tasmanian. I know I devil. bought, I thrift and I'm like, Oh, this would be, it's so ugly. This is what 20 year olds are going to think is cool. So I bought this like jacket that's like made half. It's, it's homemade. It's like jeans that have been cut in half, flipped upside down. And then there's like, uh, farm animals. Sick. It's just somebody's aunt made it as like yeah. a, a rough draft. And it's so ugly. And I bought it cause I was like, Oh, this is cool to somebody. And I just cannot put it on my body I, <laughs> I i see other people dress like that and i just i want to participate but i cannot do it i say go for it oh, it's hideous it makes my shoulders big too and i'm like i just that's i'm that's a statement yeah <laughs> just to walk in with big shoulders and a hideous outfit <laughs> yeah, like, i'm big as is i don't need to be broad yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> broad yeah broad bone. shoulders that's always been my hiccup with like vintage stuff is that i have broad shoulders and that it like pff, it's still there's always like it's like god damn it yeah. like uh i got a friend i think she's still my friend i don't know she fucking won't call me back now but we she uh talk about yeah <laughs> 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 they all know <laughs> there's so many people are like oh jesus <laughs> It's my ex-girlfriend. But for my birthday this year, she got me a vintage Bob Seger t-shirt. Oh, that's cool. Because I'm like a huge Bob Seger yeah. fan. And it's like, it's like just, mm. it's like just a little tight to yeah. where like, I'm not confident enough to be like full blown seventies dude. That's like a little fat, but also like, will wear a skin tight t-shirt. Yeah. You know, I'm not, th- I'm not at that stage yeah. in my life. But I'm I, there. Uh, I'm there. <laughs> I'm close. Well, I used to be like over 300 pounds. No shit. Yeah, I was fucking gigantic back Whoa. in the day. Like, so I'm like, I've been going to physical therapy and I start going to the gym again tomorrow. Yeah. So here within like my goal is like in a month, I will be able to yeah. wear that fucking. I just want to tighten it up yeah. a little. Yeah. If I could just tighten her up a little, yeah. I'm going to wear, wear that fucking Bob Seger shirt out. But it's from 83. It's from the year I was born. Oh, yeah. You would think this bitch loved me or something because she <laughs> does shit like this. But in, re- in all actuality, she hates my guts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. If I if a shirt's too small for me, I'm like, we're still going to do it, but we're going to adjust. So I'll, I'll put one of these on. I have a shirt yeah. that truly, it's like an extra small. Yeah. And I, but I really like it. And I just don't zip it. It's like a, a little tank and it's like leopard print and it's there's no stretch to it at all. So I just put it on, leave the zipper this far unzipped yeah. and just wear a little jacket. Mm-hmm. Nobody will ever know. 
fake yeah. it till you make it. Yeah, and then my friend was like, she put it on. It looked adorable on her. She she wore it to a show. She's a comedian. It looked great, and I still yeah. could not let her have it because I was just yeah. like, <laughs> she could zip it too, and I was just like, you're like, no, nah, it's still mine. Sorry, yeah, one no, day, I, one day I'm gonna uh, get that. Yeah. I'm gonna be an extra small. Yeah, <laughs> like you can day. be. Yeah. I uh, I have this like wool vest I got that I would like to wear a lot. I have like one nice outfit, mm -hmm. but then I have these like two button up shirts to go with it that are like one's black denim, one's like blue denim, mm -hmm. and they're both just just a little snug. Yeah. And they're like, but they're all right if I put the vest on over yeah. it and then I put on a necklace. I just can't sit down because <laughs> otherwise it's just like skin tight on me. Yeah. The shirt is. And it's just I'm in yeah. this weird spot, but where I'm like between shirt sizes. Yeah. And I'm like between large, like extra large are way too big. And a large is just like. It's like just to like not just it's just like one toe over mm -hmm. the line of uncomfortable yeah. feeling for yeah. me because I'm still like a fat kid in my yeah. head. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I don't know if you ever lose that shit. Yeah, but. I don't think so. But back in the day, I was like, do I used to wear three X T-shirts? Mm. I wore a 2X and it was tight at one point, like yeah. fit me tight. Yeah. And it's like, whoa. Like I yeah. seen some of my shirts where I was just like, holy shit. How was I like? I fluctuate so much. Like I'll have, I'll find like, cause I gained a lot of weight in college too. So like I'll find those old shirts and I'm like, oh my God, who is she? And then like a week later I'll put it on. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so I don't know. I just... I, that's why I have so many clothes that range from extra small to just fucking like five X. I'm like, it's a sleep shirt. And then I'm like, no, it's, it's a going out shirt. <laughs> well, being poor will help with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does help. Just minimize <laughs> your intake of food. Yeah. 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 A lot of cottage cheese that my mom just sends home with me. That's oh, all God. I eat. <laughs> I know. Why do moms always think cottage cheese is like, here, just that's eat some cottage cheese. Yeah. Like, that's how they did it. Like, yeah. they ate cottage cheese and toast and got yeah. skinny. And it's like, yeah. yeah, if that's all you're going to fucking eat. God yeah, damn, my mom, like, she's, bless her heart. She, I mean, I've been, like, smoking cigarettes now. And she's like, I think you should try these Virginia Slims. Like, they're just, they're better for you. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> I think maybe you should just I'll take them. They're expensive. Smoke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe just don't smoke with yeah. the appropriate thing. Or yeah. like, hey, how about you roll your own? <laughs> Just use is tobacco. That? I think that's probably the healthiest way to smoke. Probably. You just have to look up. Look at that up one day. Just a nice Google. Just when you're. I refuse. When you're sitting I alone. Hate to, I hate to look stuff up. <laughs> when you're sitting alone and you're like, you know. I've had too much cottage cheese. You've had too much cottage cheese and you just go put on your sluttiest outfit, <laughs> like a trench coat. <laughs> And like, you My know, 90. go put on your full blown matrix outfit. <laughs> that's a size seven too big for you. Yeah. And, you know, look up what's the healthiest how way to, to smoke roll my cigarettes. How do I roll? <laughs> how do I do home rolled cigarettes? Is that healthier than a American spirit? Oh, I have got to get out of the house. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same way. I haven't gone out anywhere in a while. Yeah. My kids you. like tell it keeps telling me like you need a new girlfriend. And I'm like, I maybe I don't know. Does she know how to do YouTube? Like that's what <laughs> yeah. I need. Can she? My requirements are now. Do you know how <laughs> to do body work? <laughs> yeah. Can Can you run my social media for me? <laughs> <laughs> now accepting applications. Yeah. Also, you have to like to do dishes. <laughs> But I got the laundry. Do oh see, we would be quite the pair. I hate I I will just like sleep okay. under laundry. I go crazy. I put it on my bed because I'm like, okay, if it's on my bed, like I have to do it before I get into bed. And then I'm like, or I could sleep under it. Yeah. <laughs> and I just have like a weighted blanket of like three loads of laundry. Yeah. I But I'll, dishes, I love doing dishes. I have to like uh I was just thinking yesterday, like, I need to go through and minimize some of the shirts in my dresser drawers. Mm -hmm. I have a t shirt problem sometimes. Yeah, me too. Like I'll get to me and like, ooh, I gotta have like there's this one uh Hank Williams the fourth, which is Hank Williams the third son's four in the strange band. I have every shirt they've ever made because mm -hmm. they're a small band and I see, every time I go see them I'm like I must support you. Right. Let right. me buy something. It's like yeah. I have every piece of merch. <laughs> yeah. To where like I last time I bought something I already had, I was like, ah fuck. You could just like, like I gotta it, quit. You should bring all your stuff to one of their shows and sell it. <laughs> sell yeah, the shirts. sell my own shit. <laughs> I, I'm like getting autographs table. now. I have. So I was like, oh, me, just <laughs> autograph this one because I fucking I fucked up. I already have it. Like, <laughs> just autograph this record for me, and I'm gonna just not play this one because I already yeah. have one that I play. But he rules. That guy rules. Yeah, I don't leave the house much. It's hard. Yeah, and it's cold. It's cold. If it was warmer, we would. 
Yeah. I would go to like car shows and shit. Yeah. Like that's what. Yeah, I got my kid. Like that's the kind of shit we like. We go to Target, but I fucking hate Target. Gives me anxiety real bad. I b- I really love Walmart. I got I got I like Walmart. Walmart's not as bad. I can spend because my there. kid doesn't like shopping at Walmart. Mm. But like so in and out. I've a, like yeah I've a, I I you know, like I'm very aware of like my fucked upness and it, m- one of my biggest flaws is that like I don't care like. If I go to the store with you, I'd probably, like, if you were like, hey, I need to go to Target, I'd be like, okay, cool. And if you start, like, lollygagging around, I'll just be like, I, I'll, I'm i just going to go do laps. Yeah. And when you're ready, like, just let me know and we yeah. can go. Because if I don't have any reason to be there, and I think mostly it's because I'll just buy shit I don't yeah. need. Like, I went to a store yesterday, this place called Ollie's, which is, like, damaged freight. And I was, like, mm-hmm. walking around, and then, like, I didn't get a cart. And I was like, oh. And immediately, like, I found these books. And I was like, oh, I, this fucking, it's only $1.99. Yeah. I need this. Yeah. And I'm carrying around these books. And the next thing you know, I got another thing. And the next thing you know, I'm going to get a cart. And then I'm walking around. and start putting more shit in this cart. And I'm looking at it. And I'm like, I don't need any of this shit. <laughs> yeah. And I would never buy any of it yeah. if I saw it at a regular store. Yeah. So I just like left the cart and everyone was looking at me and I was just like, oh, what is this right here? Like acting <laughs> like I was looking at something and just left the store because <laughs> I didn't want to put all that shit back, yeah. you know. But that's why I just fucking got no patience. Yeah. I like I to a, be. I have a cart on my uh, like she end, you know. The, yeah. yeah. Like I have a cart of just like five hundred dollars worth of stuff that I have just selected. And I, I I don't know what this is. I just watch it and it's like. There's three left. I'm like, Ugh. and I just, I just hoard online. Can't afford it. Yeah. There's nothing I will ever buy. You're Love it all. Them in I the honestly like. So I will plan outfits. I'm like, I, like if I have plans, I'm like, oh, I could wear that. I don't own it. It's gonna take three weeks to get to me. I just like pretend I have it and then I wear this. <laughs> yeah. I just like. <laughs> I just live in an imaginary world on Shein. Yeah, it's weird. Like I don't. I would. I can never. Like to buy like cheap ass clothes like that for me, it's just like yeah, no, I'm oh, good. I'm in it. I, I know it's so. I bad. think it's late. All ladies are yeah. right. Yeah, but like, I'm worried about like my brain's different. Like I'm like, I weld on cars all day and yeah. shit. Like I these are like these are my these are my nice pants, you yeah. know. But also, if if I got into a situation, I feel like these would give me a little bit of protection more mm-hmm. than like a cheap ass pair of like. You know, they're not going to light right up like a pair of sh- pants off Sheen yeah. would, you know. Yeah, yeah. But it's even like people that go to like H&M, like forever, like, go to H&M. I'm like, I don't, I don't know, man. It seems like yeah. anti-American to shop. There. I'm just so like, I I have, these are, I mean this, these are the only, I have two pairs of socks that are, the, I mean, it's a good, these are my good socks and I like save them for special occasions. I'm not like a, I need to wear shitty clothing every single day that I don't care about because I am, I just am so scared that these are going to like start to look dark when I wash them. Oh yeah. <laughs> like I, I cannot have quality clothing yeah. <laughs> because I grow too attached. Yeah. I have that. Like I have a bunch of like nice shirts, like Pendleton's and shit. And mm-hmm. like, so I just wear them. Like, <sighs> I'll wear the same thing. Like when I go out, you would think I don't change my clothes because mm-hmm. I'm always wearing black pants, that yeah. vest, and like my necklaces and like one of two shirts. Yeah. And people are always like, what the fuck? It's like, well, dude, you you saw me two months ago. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is just what I wear when yeah. I go out. It's man. Tuesday. This is my going it was Tuesday out when you outfit. saw me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> haven't got a second outfit yet, guys. <laughs> Still working on because I like. I went through a phase for a while where like I wouldn't wear t-shirts if I went like I still won't like I won't wear a fucking t-shirt if I'm go- if I'm going out mm-hmm. I won't put I won't wear a t-shirt why because I just I don't I it's like just what's insecurity the point or what no I just think it's like it's beneath me <laughs> 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 not in a bad way in like my own personal view it's yeah. like I'm an adult I feel like I should if I'm going to go out I should put it in make myself presentable like to go out of the house in pajamas i could never really i could never i wouldn't i saw people wearing sweatpants yesterday walking into petco and i was disgusted really what am i is this okay no that's just like normal you're wearing like normal pants that a lady would wear in a shirt okay yeah you look nice thanks but like to like like i'd wear this like i will wear this to like now like if I'm going out into the world, Petco. Hey, you went shopping. 
Like, if you just came from the gym, I could let you slide. They didn't just come from the gym. I'm pretty sure the man and the lady had makeup on, to be (laughs) honest with you. So, like, they were all done up. But, like, I won't won't do it. I won't do it. I won't go. If I went to the gym. Dude, I go on stage in sweats. Maybe. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> maybe i'll go to like the grocery store on my way home from the gym to grab something real quick but that's it i won't go out in in sweatpants that's hysterical i just think it's like i don't know i just this sounds like it should be some like coming from some corporate guy like in a suit and tie like you're weird like will not <laughs> like, will not such a laid back car I will guy not go like, outside refuse Look, <laughs> i'm white trash enough i don't need to live that stereotype i, I think, think that might be what it is i don't, I don't know. know sweats can look cool though like it's like a you can dress them up i have a nice pair of sweats also ten dollars <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i haven't washed them that much so they look nice <laughs> yeah yeah, give those bad boys a couple. Of, yeah, yeah, they look nice. They're fucking filthy, though. Yeah, do not touch them. Covered in cum. That's where all your cum jokes get written, is in the sweatpants. It's my stage outfit. Oh, it's your other slutty outfit. Yeah. My sweatsuit. Yeah. Yeah, no, I won't wear sweats out. I try to keep, like, I ridiculous. almost was, like, I've worn sweatshirts on the, like, today I almost was, like, I, I had a internal dialogue about whether or not this was appropriate to wear on the show. Hmm. Like I had to convince myself the other day that it was okay to wear like gym shorts. That shorts are w- different. When I was doing my live stream and they, you only see this <laughs> much of my head. That I do get though. Shorts are a very... But even sweatpants would be the same internal dialogue. Like, is it okay? And I eventually, I just did it. But it's like, it's just a fugazi, right? Like, mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be. It's all, like, it's all, television's all yeah. fake anyways. Yeah. But yeah, like, no, I feel like sometimes I'm like, oh, I have to look. See, that's so nice. Like, even now, like, I just realized I wore my shitty shoes. And I totally, in my brain, I meant to, on a list of things I had internally written, one of them was to, hey, go take those nasty-ass fucking slip-ons off and put your nice vans on because mm. i have a pair of going out vans that's yeah. how i'm high class so yeah. like i have going out vans you know yeah. what i mean but i forgot now now i just i'm here looking now we like have a to fucking scratch peasant. this whole podcast i gotta yeah i gotta <laughs> i'm just gonna have to blur my feet out the whole i'll just put a blur line on it like yeah hey, we're gonna have to redo this one guys sorry <laughs> yeah. put a blur over you hold on what all we talk about outfit. we gotta bring out the slut outfits <laughs> we gotta talk about art we gotta talk about uh croatian people okay cool we'll have to restart this we'll do it faster this time it'll, be, it'll go faster yeah yeah but i'll be back i have to go change my shoes <laughs> real quick <laughs> These were nice at one time. They just gotten trashed. They're pretty fucking gross. Yeah, see, you got nice vans on. Thank you. They're the only I have these sick Crayola vans that Whoa. have like graphic art all over <gasps> them. Those are my going out vans. Yeah. I could never wear them out right now, though, in this weather. Mm. With all this rain and shit, I wouldn't yeah. want to get them that dirty. Then I'd have to clean them. Yeah. I fucking hate cleaning shoes. I just, obviously, that's how these, these used to be like really cool purple tie dye. And I had a pair that were like purple velvet at one time Ooh. and they were really sick. And then I just eventually like one thing gets on it that I could probably clean. And I'm just like, fuck it. I'll mow the grass in those. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like a yeah. hundred dollar pair of shoes. Yeah. 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 This is my slut outfit though, for sure. Like I, this is how I go slutting. I think you've nailed the like dirt ball look, but you put money into the outfit. That's a sweet spot. No, I'm a maxinista. Okay. My stomach's growing. So You're a Maxinista? I, yeah. Okay. It's like a fashionista, but I shop at TJ Maxx. Oh, I'm familiar. Yeah. yeah I hit every TJ Maxx in the city. So I'll go to that, see the Nordstrom Rack. Oh, yeah. I mean, I got $700 shirts upstairs. I only paid 30 bucks for them. Dude. But believe me, I'll fucking tell you all about how that <laughs> I'm wearing a $700 shirt with the quickness. Yeah. I'm hood rich. Ah, oh, that's nice. Ghetto Fabulous, they called it in my day. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I, 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 I try to buy nice shit, but I try to buy it. Like, that's my favorite thing is like, I'm a dirt bag and I'm poor as hell most of the time. I mean, I make okay money, but I, uh, I like to have nice shit. So yeah. I fucking hustle to get it. Like I, like I go to the swap meet, like I'll go to the mm-hmm. swap meet every weekend, two yeah. days a week. 
Really? Yeah, I go Saturday and Sunday. I'm at the swap meet, and people are like, how do you find all this cool shit in your house? I saw it's so expensive. Like, people think that I buy all this shit at antique stores. You know what I mean? Not at all. Not a single thing in here came from an antique store. I mean, that's like a $600 light. I think I bought that for like 40 or 50 bucks at, really? at a at an estate sale. Oh, man. See. I mean, undoubtedly, I that's more expensive than any of the antiques in here. That thing. I paid more. That's really cool. Well, but I got somebody bought that for me. I didn't even buy that. My really? friends had that made for me, that <laughs> neon sign. My friends, Luke and Tiff. Yeah. How sweet. Yeah. But like this, I, I, I ponied up for that bad boy, but you don't see a Frank Frazetta death dealer black velvet painting very often, so I had to have that. But by ponied up, I mean I bought that for $50 on Marketplace. Really? Yeah. That's it? <laughs> yeah. Then I just hung this one up, too. Yeah, that one's sick. That one, I, I sold it, and I'm waiting for the people to come buy it. I sold this guy. I want to start doing some more dark paintings. Yeah. Yeah. Black velvet. It's hard to paint on. I got a bunch of it. I can make you a canvas. Fuck, I might have a black velvet canvas you could have. Dude, I would love that. I'll make I've, whatever you want. I made my own canvases. Really? Mm-hmm. I've always I wanted to do that. taught myself how to do it. It's pretty fucking easy. You just go to the art store and buy the shit. Mm. I didn't you make like a, 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 a white <laughs> canvas. I didn't even Google it. I just went to the art really? store and was like, okay, what do I need? Yeah. And so I had to like get like old frames. The key is like find a frame first. Mm-hmm. And then build your canvas to fit that frame oh, so yeah. you have a cool frame for yeah. it. But I have a bunch of old frames out in my garage. I paint and shit, too. I'll show you I some of my that. paintings after this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like airbrush. Oh, That's like man. my medium of choice. I can't draw. I suck at drawing. I tried to draw for years. Yeah. And paint with a brush. I fucking suck at it. But I airbrush this shit out of some T-shirts and canvases. We should, play, uh, we should collab on something. Yeah, I'm down with that. My kid paints. She really? does paintings. Yeah, she's... I just set her up with a bunch of canvases yesterday. I gave her a bunch of my old ones that were like half painted on. That I was like, yeah, here, you fucking yeah. just paint over this. Yeah. She's like, oh, okay. Me and Aaron have done that. Yeah. That's what I'll you do. I'll just give them, yeah. When you got those paintings that sit around and they never sell, you're like, yeah, yeah just paint over yeah, this one. Fix it. <laughs> fix it real quick. <coughs> all right. Let's yeah. see. As you can see, I changed all these settings and I still can't. I made it to where all the shit's so small you can't see what's going on. Oh, we're an hour and a half deep here. Yeah. I think that's probably good on this one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice episode. Lots of laughs. Yeah, my stomach's growling, so it's Yeah, it's probably a good time to stop. (laughs) I don't... Maddie's got to hopefully not go destroy my bathroom. (laughs) No, I need some cottage cheese. No, I'm hungry. Yeah, (laughs) too (laughs) much cottage cheese. cheese. I need more. Uh, (laughs) I haven't had it today. (laughs) Well, everyone, thanks for watching. You can find Maddie uh, online on the gram. Yeah. Is it? I'll I'll link it in the shit yeah. just like always. Just Instagram, my name. you can find her at any comedy club. You can find her at the <laughs> coffee dot shop that shop be named. <laughs> Most days with Aaron, just being uh, just popping around, just hopping around doing art. And yeah, yeah. If you need some artwork, yeah. hit her up. Find me at Grand Slam. I'll be locked yeah, out of my can, car. See her, yeah, <laughs> stop by the Grand Slam. She <laughs> yeah. might. She'll be in the Cadillac dressed really slutty, (laughs) and you'll go, well, shit, there's Maddie. (laughs) Next to a really mean pit bull. So if you see him, just head on over. adopted a homeless pit bull at the (laughs) Grand Slam liquor store. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, hey, thanks for coming over. I'm so happy we finally did this. Yeah, it's great. I'm looking forward to it, so thank you. I needed uh, uh, I mean, I prefer if it wasn't, you know, I was like, I need to get some more ladies on the show, and then. I'll just be your one. Just have me back. Oh, I, I don't. Next time you can't dress so slutty. Yeah, I mean, I'm. S- that's my bad. I didn't know your daughter was home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I should have asked. Well, you know, no. Next time you wear a fucking moo moo when you come on this show. <laughs> These fucking virgins on the internet. I mean, good God, the Mystic yeah. Order can't handle all this. Yeah. This is a Patreon now. This is yeah. <laughs> Cut the big Aaron. Okay, now we're on Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you next time. Like, subscribe. Do all this shit. Uh, Wednesdays, Black Magic Live, Movie Club. Sundays, Mystic Order Podcast. We'll see you later. Dope. This is awesome, man. No, th- hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, hit the like and subscribe buttons. And check out one of these other videos. We'll see you next time.